There are two main things that impact the smoothness of the video that you film with your Mavic 3. One will be the movement of the gimbal itself and the other is the movement of the drone itself. Both play uh, an equal role and after last week's update we now have all the controls we need to smooth things down and that is what I'm talking about today. So as I said, there are two main areas of control that ha have the most effect, the control of the uh, gimbal and the control of the drone itself. First off, let's start with the gimbal. If you go to the three dots, scroll along, down, into advanced, you come to these settings here uh, that allow four different elements of control to be um, affected. First of all, you've got the pitch speed and the pitch smoothness, then you've got the your rotation and the your smoothness. So the pitch is literally how fast up and down the gimbal is going to move. And as you can see here, when you move the uh, pitch speed to a high value, you get a very fast, abrupt movement up and down, which obviously is not exactly what you're after. So you can drag that value down and take a lower value. And you can see now when you move full lock on the wheel, the camera moves a lot slower. But wait, there's more. What you can also do is affect the smoothness. Now, the smoothness is like a buffer. And this basically uh, is how slow the movement starts and how slow the movement stops after you let go of the wheel. So it's like a buffer at the beginning and a buffer at the end. So what I've actually found is it's better to have a fairly low value for the pitch speed, but a fairly high value for the uh, smoothness. Now the second two settings you've got is the uh, yaw. The yaw is literally the rotation of the drone uh, when you actually move the left stick left and right and how quickly it turns. But the same principles apply here. You've got the yaw speed, where if you turn the speed up to a high value, it will turn very jerkily. And this is probably one of the worst features that you will see on anybody's drone videos they have this speed set to the default and it, every time they turn left or right you get this sudden jerky nasty uh, effect so again you want to pull that your setting down but just below that you've got the smoothness and just like with the pitch the smoothness is that buffer which means it's how slow the your starts turning and how slow the uh, the drone will stop turning when you let go of the stick so again, much like the pitch, I find it's better to have a low your speed and a high your smoothness. Now you can repeat these four settings uh, each time, one for cine mode, one for normal and one for sports mode. And I actually like to have pretty much the same settings on all three uh, modes. But sometimes if you're hooning around in sports mode and you want a bit more of a dynamic, fast acting sort of uh, uh, bit of filming, you might want to uh, jack the uh, speed up a little bit higher for the pitch and certainly for the yaw so you can actually do some nice sharp turns when, uh, when, when you're zooming around. But anyway, that's the principle and as ever with these things, you want to just have a little play and have a look at what actually works best for you. But after last week's update, um, certainly Android users now also have the ability to affect something called the EXP settings. And the whole idea of the EXP settings is that they will dictate how much the drone moves in relation to how much movement you have started to move on the stick. I need to reiterate that. This is not about full lock on the stick. This is about when you just start to move the stick and how much movement the drone will actually uh, move in proportion to the movement on your stick. Again, way perhaps best to illustrate that is if you drag the X down so that it's got quite a flat area to the right. What this means is you actually have to move the stick quite far before you actually start getting any meaningful movement. So that can be good to introduce a very soft and gentle movement, but it does mean that as you move the stick further to full lock, you're suddenly gonna get the rest of the movement all piling up. So again, you're probably best off playing with this by dragging it to the extreme one way and then the extreme the other way so you at least get an idea of what it's doing and then you'll find the settings for you. Now there is one more setting that actually has a surprising amount of significance on how smooth the drone will fly and that I did a little video the other day it's on the obstacle avoidance and the APAS and whether or not you have it in bypass mode or brake or off. 
As I said in that video the other day, when you actually have it into bypass mode, you'll find that the drone is very jumpy and very quick to react in, in quite a significant way when you just touch the sticks. But of course the gimbal is doing a good job of smoothing things out, so whilst the drone itself is actually jerking and bouncing around, the video you get should still say stay fairly smooth, but of course sharp uh, jumpy movements of the drone is never good if you're trying to get silky smooth video. So, so long as you are not anywhere near obstacles, I think you, you probably want to keep that in break mode rather than bypass. And you'll find that when you start moving the sticks, the drone will move very gently and very slowly rather than just jumping around uh, like it does when it's in bypass mode. Anyway, look, that's pretty much all I wanted to go through today. Uh, like I said, it's probably three main features. You've got the pitch speed and the uh, rotational yaw. You've also got the EXP settings. And for the moment, certainly with the Mavic 3, you've also got whether or not you've got the obstacle avoidance in bypass mode or brake mode. Those three elements will all have a huge impact on how smooth the drone flies and how smooth the video is when you're actually uh, filming. Anyway, look, hopefully you found that useful. If you did, give me a little thumbs up. Always helps the video, of course. And if you haven't, of course, hit the sub, ding the dong, get notified each time I put something out. But look, in the middle of the holiday season, wherever you are on this winter's day, whatever you're doing, um, stay safe and sane. Until next time, have fun and happy flying.